Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 11.5 and the question is for the circuit shown in figure 11.10 find the load impedance ZL that absorbs the maximum average power and then calculate that maximum average power so one thing to note here that we have for maximum average power transfer the load impedance ZL must be equal to the complex conjugate of the Thevenin impedance ZTH and this is how to calculate the power uh, maximum average power which is Pmax here uh, okay so we need to find out the Thevenin equivalent right so because we have the Thevenin impedance here and how to find Thevenin equivalent so we will need to find out RTH and then after that we need to find out P pH and let's do the easy thing first here which is finding RTH okay so we open this ZL here and then we replace all the sources with open or short circuit uh, current source turn into open circuit so let's redraw the circuit we still have that 8 ohm resistor here okay so we have 8 ohm here and then we also have minus J4 ohm. Good. And then we also have this inductor here, which is J10. And then this 12 ampere current source is, is replaced by open circuit. So we will have this. And then this one will be 5 ohm. Okay, so we'll have 5 ohm, yeah. Oh no, that is not Thevenin resistance, but Thevenin impedance. Because we have capacitor and inductor. But the principle is the same. So we need to find out the Thevenin impedance here, ZTH. And that should be an easy task to do, right? Because ZTH is just 5 in parallel with Eight, and then minus J4 and then plus J10 because they are all in series right so we will have 5 and that will be in parallel with what is that 8 and then plus J6 I think good and we can make that into mathematical notation 5 multiplied by 8 plus j6 and then we will have 5 plus j8 plus j6 and i think we can just leave this into our calculator let's set our calculator here as complex calculator which is number 2 and we will have 5 multiplied by 8 plus 6i then divided by 5 plus 8 plus 6i so we will have that one we will have 3.41 5 3.41 5 and then plus j 0 0.732 0 0.732 and the unit here will be ohm okay so maximum power transfer happens that will be here we need this requirements here so we will have zl is equal to three point oh, remember that zl is zth conjugated right so we have the conjugate of zth that will be three point four one five but we flip the sign so we have minus sign and then we will have the j 0 0.432 oh good now we have that l here and that is one of the answer right which is this one here so the next thing that we need to do is to find out what is the vth here Okay, let's 
let's calculate that. So the second thing that we need to find out is the Thevenin voltage and we need the open circuit voltage here at that L. Okay, let's do exactly that. Uh, how to do that? Maybe let's let's change this into an open circuit. So we will have this one and that one and we will have this one here and this one here. So we'll have plus minus and this one will be VTH. And let's set this one here as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. Good. Now let's set this node here as node A and let's assume the direction of the current, which is this one and that one, right? We can use KCL at, KCL at node A. Yeah. Let's do that, KCL at not A. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one, but that is 12. So I will start from the current that goes out first. Here we will have this one here. Or maybe we can just write 12 first. 12 is equal to, we will have VA. And then divide it by, we'll have this one here, which is 8 minus J4. 8 minus J4. And then plus, we will also have PA divided by 5 plus J10. 5 plus J10. Okay. And we can get rid of this VA here. May, may not get rid, we factor out the VA. So we will have one like this and VA. So we can we can calculate VA by just using calculator, right? VA using this 12 as numerator and this term here as denominator. So we will have that. We already have complex number. So we'll have 12 divided by, okay, let's prepare it first. We have two fraction here, this one and then this one so we will have one divided by one minus four i and then we'll have one divided by five plus ten i good and so we will have the a we'll have 81.95 81.95 what d51 and then plus j then 17.56 17.56 i want three behind the points so i will have one here and the unit here will be in four good but we need to calculate vth here and we can do that by using voltage divider right so we'll have vth and then we will have 5 there divided by 5 plus j10 and then multiplied by va here okay we already have the va right yeah that one let's just multiply that by this one right so we'll have 5 divided by 5 plus 10i good so we will have this pth right 23 point 23 point what 414 415 415 and then plus oh no minus minus j 29.268 29.268 and the unit will be in volt good now we need to plug that into this formula here so we will have vth here and then divided by 8 rth okay and 
I think we can just use calculator for that. So here is our calculator and first we need to prepare the VTH here. So we have the fraction here and the magnitude of VTH. Okay, we have this one here. The magnitude is just the real part, 23.415 square. And then plus this imaginary part, 29.268 square. And then divided by 8 and the Tevenin resistance. That is only the real part of this one. So we'll have 3.415. That should be 1 point. 1 point. Oh, that is squared. Yeah, we have to square the numerator here. Okay, good. We have to square this. Okay, let's square that. Yeah, so we'll have 51 point, 51 point, 4, 2, 3. Okay, 4, 2, 3. And the unit will be in what? I think there is some difference here that is just because a rounding error, but that is a good. Yeah, some rounding error maybe. I don't know. But thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.